These days, it's an unusual sight to see a restaurant hopping, and this one is serving thanks. Nearly 300 meals, all free, destined for the frontline staff of nursing homes. You know, these people are our real heroes, truly, because they go into this long Turkey home and they're so close to the virus, they're so close to be at risk, and we needed to send them a message of love. Though Mohamed Faki's Paramount Middle Eastern restaurants are hurting, he's intent on doing well for the staff caring for seniors. I know for a fact that they deserve to be paid better and they need to feel safe. It's hardly Mohammed's first act of goodwill and it won't be his last. His goal now is to deliver 15,000 meals a month for the next three months. And there is good people that wants to do good things. And that's the bottom line. I, I think the solution of the world today with all these problems is having more good people doing good things. That's all. He certainly can't do it alone, getting a lot of help from his staff and donations from his friends. He's also asking for more. You're really ramming them in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hell of a way to fill up a Volvo. <laughs> how are you feeling? Good. Just imagine how the workers feel on the other side, seeing new friends arrive. <laughs> a small gesture that can go a long way to alleviate the difficulty they face each day. It's not really, it's not easy. It, it's really difficult, like for everybody. This home is an outbreak. Workers facing COVID inside. Hard work, lonely, and sometimes overwhelming. Alyssa Abdul Kadir is one of the nurses here. Sometimes, you know, especially when you're working, when you feel like you have the support, you feel like, yeah, okay, yeah, so you have somebody to carry you. You, you, know, you know, you know, you have somebody to boost you up. Like when you're feeling down, such things make you feel inspired that, okay, there's more good to come. And the three more. And good will continue to come. Mohammed wants to not only feed care home workers across Ontario, he wants to inspire others across Canada to do the same. Under masks and shields, there are smiles here. Not so easy under the COVID circumstances. All the more needed because of them. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.